Hi everyone, it's Stacy. Thank you for coming on this yoga leap with me. Welcome back to anyone who's been practicing with me through the video for a while now and welcome to anyone who maybe just stumbled across these videos for the first time. Um, my name's Stacy, and as you can see, I have my uh, chair there, so I will be moving between the chair and the floor a little bit today, the mat. So if you are practicing on one or the other and you're waiting for me to demo or give some verbal cues for the other one, go ahead and just find a few breaths in your favorite pose and, uh, and wait for me to catch up with you. Um, I don't use really any other props other than the chair because I'm not sure what people have at home, but if you do have props you like to practice with, like bolsters, um, blocks, straps, anything that helps um, enhance your practice for you, go ahead and grab those now. And um, in the meantime, I'll meet you back there. We're going to start seated for our warm up. So let's get started. I'm going to make my way down to the floor here. You may want to start your practice uh, seated in your chair. So just find a nice, comfortable seated position wherever you're starting. Oh, I just noticed my candle's not on. I always like to have my candle on, no matter what time of day it is or what season it is. That's an electric candle, but I do love candles. Anyway, I digress. Let's get back into the practice. So let's settle into our seated position again, either in the chair or on your mat. You can sit uh, with a nice, easy cross leg position. You can open up the cross legs as much or as little as you like, however it feels most comfortable for you. We want to find a bit of a tall spine just so we can find nice deep um, space for our breath to flow. But we, we don't want to be too stiff that we're um, not being able to relax into the breath work. Oh, so maybe let's take a minute to find that, maybe sitting up nice and tall. We roll the shoulders a couple of times here. And your hands can be down on your lap, palms turned down or up. Maybe they're resting in your lap if you're seated in your chair, whatever feels best. Now, if you're looking to bring your energy down, maybe your energy is super high and depending on what time of day you're practicing, maybe you wanna bring it down. You might wanna turn your hands down and connect to your body. This will help you feel grounded and maybe bring a sense of calm. If you're looking to invite some energy into your practice or even just feel um, open to the practice, maybe you're feeling vulnerable or you are it's your first time and you want to uh, invite some acceptance, um, maybe turning the palms up towards the sky or the ceiling might feel like the right energy you're looking for today. Maybe a bit of both. You can turn one hand down, have one hand up. Anyway, whatever feels best for you today, let's just find that connection of energy we can either close our eyes or just turn our gaze down towards the floor find something nice and still to rest your gaze on <sighs> let's just tune into our breath let's notice the flow of the breath the natural flow to begin with let's not change anything let's not force anything let's just see what our breath is doing for us, sort of behind the scenes. It's happening all the time. We're usually not paying too much attention to it. Let's just see if we can really secretly just tune into it. I know that once we're asked to focus on something in our bodies, immediately it becomes a little bit less natural. <laughs> Let's just see if we can notice the rhythm Is it fast or slow, deep or shallow? There's no right or wrong, we're just noticing. Notice if we feel like the breath is sort of getting stuck in areas or if it's flowing freely already. And again, no right or wrong, we're just noticing. Maybe spending a few more no moments just noticing as well the temperature of the breath, maybe the sound of the breath. Can we hear it flowing in and out through our nose? As we're sitting here and 
bit of stillness, a bit of quiet. Maybe we want to create a little motto or a mantra for ourselves as another tool to help us stay present and grounded in our practice. It can be anything. I'm here. I am open to trying new things. I am vulnerable. It doesn't always have to be this positive, um, uplifting mantra. You might want to acknowledge you're feeling vulnerable. And that's okay. Maybe instead of a mantra, you decide today you want to dedicate this practice to someone else. Someone who maybe can't tune in to do the practice themselves. Someone that's celebrating. Or someone that just needs a little love and kindness sent their way. And you can dedicate your practice to that person too. And that person might be yourself. Take a few more moments here and then we're going to add a bit of movement to our breath to get the body warmed up too. If the eyes are closed, maybe blink the eyes open. Just reacquaint yourself with your room, your props, your yoga mat. And then we'll get ready to move and breathe. On the inhale, let's reach the arms up overhead. And then exhale, let's bring them back down to our side. Nice and easy to start. Inhale, reach up, creating a bit more space and length as we lift up and reach up. And then exhale, lower down. Maybe we're finding deeper breaths as we inhale. And exhale. Inhale to reach. And exhale. All right, let's inhale, reach the arms up. Let's add a little bit of a twist here. As we exhale, we'll twist over to the left. The right arm crosses the body. It maybe finds the outside of our left knee. We're still sitting up nice and tall and the spine is twisting like a barber shop pole. And we're looking over that back shoulder. Take an inhale here and exhale. On the next inhale, we'll untwist, sweep the arms up and go to the other side. Exhale here, reaching across with left arm twisting the spine through belly, ribs, and then shoulders. Look back for a breath. Inhale to untwist, reach up. Let's do one more on each side here. This time we'll inhale, reach up. Let's let the left hand drop down. Take another inhale to reach up with the right hand and then exhale over. Stay nice and grounded down the opposite side. So we're feeling a nice big side body stretch here. Lifting up and over with that right hand. Stay for a breath. And then on the inhale, come on up, reach both arms up. And we'll let the right hand drop down and on the exhale, left hand sweeps over, stay grounded down through the left side. Feel a nice big side body stretch down the left side here. Stay for a whole cycle of breath. And then we'll move with our breath as we inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Let's go one more on each side. These feel really um, fluid, hopefully, and create a nice stretch and opening. Last one here. Inhale to reach up. And let's exhale. Let's draw the hands through heart center. We'll bring our hands to our knees. And we're going to do a few hip circles. We'll get the hips moving. So if you're in the chair and you find that you need to maybe scooch forward in your chair to make room so you can find bigger circles if you'd like, go ahead and do that. For those of us on the ground, hands on knees, let's take a big inhale as we pull our heart space through and exhale, start to rotate through the hips. As you come around to the back, use the knees 
to help splay the shoulder blades and find that rounded spine. So this is a bit of a seated, rotating cat-cow. So inhale here, reach the heart space through. Exhale to round. So moving with your breath. Circles can be as big or as small as you need. Noticing the weight transferring from side to side. Notice maybe a little stretch in the hips. Pulling the heart space through and then rounding through the spine, splaying shoulder blades. Let's do two more here. Last circle here as we exhale, round through the spine, pause. And then we'll inhale to sit up nice and tall through center. Option to switch the cross of the legs if you'd like. Settle back down and then we'll do some circles in the opposite direction. So hands back on the knees. Let's pull our heart center through as we inhale. And we'll start to rotate in the opposite direction. Rounding through that spine. Exhale, splay the shoulder blades. Inhale. And exhale. So now going in the opposite direction, maybe noticing how that feels through the hips. Might feel the same, might feel different. Let's do a couple more rounds. Inhaling to pull the heart space through, exhaling to round. Last big one here. Pause on the exhale, let all the breath out. And then we'll inhale, come up through center. Maybe roll the shoulders, shake out the hands. All right. Let's make our way to our all fours. If you're in the chair, you can just continue to sit uh, nice and tall. Coming into our um, tabletop here, we're gonna stack our knees under our hips and wrists and under shoulders. Spread the fingers nice and wide, really push them out of the way, sitting up nice and tall in the chair. Well, let's do a couple rounds of cat-cow just to recalibrate here. We'll drop the belly down, pull the heart space through. So this is kind of like what we were doing seated a minute ago. Slight variation. Press them out of the way, see that rounding in the spine. Inhale here and exhale one more. And let's come to rest in a uh, neutral spine here. If you're in the chair, option here is to lift one leg. I'll demonstrate in a minute and lift the opposite arm. And that's what we're going to do on the floor as well. So we're going to start by kicking that left leg out and using the strength of our glutes to lift the leg out behind us. We don't want to uh, lift it too high. We want to come straight out behind us. And then if we feel nice and strong, we can engage through the belly and lift opposite arm here. So we're gonna inhale for length. If you're in the chair, lift one foot off the ground, reach the opposite arm up towards the sky. Inhale, exhale, we can all draw our knee towards the elbow, round through the spine, make room for the knee and elbow to connect underneath or in front of the body, and then inhale for length, and then exhale lower. So we're strengthening through the core here. We're gonna to go to the opposite side. Kick that right leg out, and lift it off the mat, straight out behind, use the strength of the glutes, press the mat away if we feel strong, engage the core, lift opposite elbow, inhale for length, exhale, round through the spine, connect elbow to knee underneath the body, and then inhale for length, and exhale, lower. Now keep going on the floor, in the chair, same thing, we're sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna lift one leg, opposite arm, and we can exhale, round and crunch, just like if you were on the mat. Draw the elbow to knee. The elbow's gonna cross the center line of the body a bit, and then inhale for length and lower, and then opposite side. Inhale, exhale. So we're just switching, engaging the core, building some heat. We're going to try and do some nice big movements today. So we want to warm up the core. 
and all the muscles in the body keep going wherever you are I'll join you back on the floor here wherever you are let's do one more on each side Last one here. Let's lower everything down. Let's sit the hips back. We'll come into child's pose. If you're in the chair, just folding forward over the thighs. If you're on the floor, a few options. Knees can stay closed if we'd like, and we can round down, bringing hands to our side, letting the shoulders roll forward, open up through backside body here or we can come into our extended child's pose. Maybe we wanna open the legs up a little bit, make room for our bellies and heart centers to melt down towards the floor. So a couple of options, find a few breaths. Wherever we are, let's lift the forehead. If the hands are beside us, let's walk them forward. We're going to pull ourselves back up to our tabletop, back up to seated nice and tall in the chair. We're going to start to work on a bit of rotation again. We did a little bit of that in the warm up. So from here in our tabletop, we're going to inhale and we're going to press and open the left hand up towards the ceiling. So we're creating a twist through the core. Try to keep the hips square. And then exhale, thread the needle and come almost all the way down and then inhale press back open and I'll just demo in the chair option is to step the feet a little wider for a bit of support hands can rest on knees or we might want to come down to our right elbow and then just like on the floor we're going to inhale and open that left arm up and close it down open up and close. Let's all do one or two more here. Root down through the hips if you're in the chair. Stay grounded. Let's just inhale here, nice big open. Let's lower down if you're on the floor, thread the needle all the way through and try to lower the forehead down. If you're in the chair, you can just come on down and you can reach across the front of the foot. You can stay lifted or you can stay open if that's a nicer stretch if you're in the chair or the floor. Let's all take one more breath and if you're on the floor, start to press and open up one more time. Big inhale here and then exhale back through center and we'll reset, we'll go to the other side. So if you're on the floor, you'll switch sides. The right arm's gonna start to swing open. I'm gonna stay in the chair here for it. And again, hands can stay on the knees, or maybe you wanna root down and rest elbow on knee. And we'll open up. Right arm reaches, inhale. And exhale, close. Open up, inhale. And close. I love this movement. I love it in the chair and on the floor equally. All right, this time we're gonna stay either open or if you're on the floor, option to close down, thread the needle and rest the forehead or side of face onto the mat and find a back of shoulder stretch. Stay for a couple of breaths. And make your way back up, take a big inhale, especially if you're on the floor, open up and then exhale back down to your child's pose. In the chair, you can do a wide leg child's pose, folding forward like this, or close the legs up and fold over the thighs. Breathe into the backside body for one more cycle of breath. And then we'll make our way up. All right. So we're going to do some big movements. Now, if you're seated in a chair, 
Um, we're going to flow through our um, sunflowers and moonflowers. You can stay seated and just work with the arm movements and the forward folding. If you're standing on the mat, come on up, make your way up to standing into a nice big wide uh, stance with the toes turned out to the corners of the mat and then we'll sink into our goddess pose here. So we're going to bend through the knees, try to track the knees over the hips, try to rotate the pelvis so it's aiming straight down at the mat and then we can bring our hands shoulder height here. You'll feel the core engage, the glutes, the legs and the shoulders and arms as well. Let's stay here, settle in. Maybe see if we can lift and spread the toes and really root down through the feet. Take one more breath. And then we'll flow. So if you're standing, you can press into the legs as we sweep the arms up on the inhale. On the exhale, we're going to open back up to goddess and then maybe sink into the legs a little deeper and even draw the elbows in a little tighter, squeezing the shoulder blades. So this is a huge, big, full body movement. Inhale and exhale. So if you're in the chair, you might not be moving the legs, but you're still working through the arms, squeezing shoulder blades, nice big movements. Option here to stay with that movement or on the exhale to hinge forward, draw a big circle and scoop up all the sunflowers. This is our sunflowers. And you can continue with the sunflowers or moonflowers or alternate. Really feeling all the muscles will work in this movement. It's a big, nice, juicy, full body flowing movement. It's exactly what we want in our flow today. Let's do a couple more. Moving with intention, strength, grace. Just feeling good about being in our bodies today. Let's settle in back into our goddess pose here. Awesome. Let's bring the hands to the thighs. We'll help press ourselves up to straight leg. And then we're going to turn the toes in. And if you're in the chair, just stay with your nice wide, um, wide leg seated posture. We're going to come into a forward fold here. So let's bring our hands to our hips. Inhale, find a nice tall spine, and then we're gonna hinge forward at the hips. So coming forward with a nice tall spine. There's a little micro bend in the knees, just so we're not dumping into the joints. And we can come forward to flat back, or we can reach down if we have a block, we can put the block underneath here, bring the floor up to us, or we can come all the way down to the floor. We can bend the knees a little bit here if we need to reach the floor or the block. And we can stay with our nice tall spine, or maybe melt forward even further. We've melted forward, give the head a shake, yes and no. Find a bit of opening and length through the spine. One more breath. All right, let's come back to flat back. So we're gonna come back up. And here now we're gonna place our left hand right underneath our face. And we're gonna sweep that right arm open. We wanna try and keep the hips nice and narrow as we sweep the right arm up and open. So this is another twist. Reaching up. If the top arm is too much, we can always bring the lever and shorten it. Stick our hand in our imaginary backside pocket. This might even help us figure out are our hips nice and even or have they sort of been moving over to one side or the other. Press into the floor, find the twist. One more breath. Let's take one more inhale and on the exhale we'll bring the arm down and switch sides. Plant that right hand underneath the face, press into the mat with the feet and the hands, sweep the left arm open. Check in with those hips, do they sway over to the side of it? Pull them back to center. Check in with the arm if it's too much, lower it down, stick it in that back pocket. Find your twist.
Take one more inhale here. Exhale, lower down. We're gonna engage through the core as we bring our hands to our hips, and we're gonna hinge all the way back up to standing. Release the hands. Step into our mountain pose, feet together. We're about shoulder width apart. Let's engage all the four corners of the feet into the mat. So really sort of rock side to side, back and forth. Even if you're sitting in your chair here, making sure you're grounding through the mat and the sit bones as well, bringing energy up through the legs, engage through the core, roll the shoulders back and open, find a gaze or close the eyes for two rounds of breath. All right, from here, if you're at the top of your mat, we're gonna step back and we're gonna open up to warrior two. So we'll step the left leg back, right foot's in front, but for warrior two, we wanna angle the back foot so it's pointing straight. And then we wanna try and angle the hips and the torso to be facing forward. We're not facing the knee, that would sort of bring us into our warrior one. We wanna open everything up, and face the front and bring the arms shoulder height. Now we can adjust the feet to be wider, maybe sinking a little deeper into the front leg, but we always want to be stacking shoulders and hips. So warrior two, we don't want to lean forward. We don't want to lean too back. We want to stay nice and grounded and present in our warrior two. So keep twisting or sorry, angling the hips forward, arms out to the side. Checking with this front knee. If it's falling in and kind of going towards the big toe, see if we can bring it out and use the strength of our glutes to aim it out towards the baby toe. Ah. Nice, big, strong warrior twos. Let's flow a little bit with breath in our warrior two. Let's bring that back hand forward, almost like you're gonna give yourself a little high five. And then we're gonna pull it back like we're lining up a bow and arrow. We're gonna do a big inhale here. And then exhale. You can give yourself that clap. Inhale. Legs are staying nice and strong. Arms are nice and strong. Really feel the resistance of that pull and inhale. And then exhale. Let's do two more. One more big inhale, get us back to warrior two. This time as we exhale, let's rotate back, find our reverse warrior. Option here, just straighten the leg in the front or keep it bent, your choice. And then we're gonna inhale, come back up through center, the legs straight, let's bend it, reach as far as you can this time and then let the elbow find the knee and find our side angle. Arm reaches up alongside the ear, or we bring it down, stick it in our back pocket, and roll the shoulder open. We want to maintain the front torso facing front, the front of the torso to face front. Lower the hips if we can. Find that long line of energy from toes to crown of head or fingers. If you're in the chair, it's all the same movement. You're just being supported by the chair underneath the right leg here. One more breath. All right, one more breath to bring us back up to warrior two. Lower the hands, press through the leg. Let's turn the, um, the front foot so both toes are facing forward. We'll do another forward fold here. Inhale, and then exhale, forward fold. Hands come down to the block or the floor. We stay with a flat back or melt forward. Let's come on up on the inhale, bring the hands to the hips, engage through the core and fall the way back up to standing. All right. Let's heel toe, heel toe, heel toe in. Let's just shake it out. Now I'll do that sequence, the same sequence. We're gonna switch sides. I'm gonna do it in the chair this time. You know where you're going if you're standing. And I'm gonna do the whole sequence seated in the chair just to demonstrate and, and switch it up for myself as well. 
So we want to step into our warrior two. So for those of you on the mat, we're going to step the opposite leg back, step back with your right foot, left foot forward. In the chair, depending on what kind of chair you have, you may want to turn sideways and just scooch to the edge of the chair so that the left leg is being supported um, by the chair. And then we can step the right foot back. Now, in our warrior two, like I said, we want to turn the torso forward toes are facing forward and we're stacking our hips underneath shoulders and here we are it looks exactly the same as standing but you can see i'm being supported by the chair here so let's settle into our warrior two we're nice and present and grounded sink into the front leg but adjust the stance if you need it any wider and then find your gaze off the front fingers strong warrior two staying nice and present and grounded One more full cycle of breath and then we'll add that bow and arrow breath. Here we go. Inhale here and we can exhale to bring the back hand around. Give yourself that high five. Notice how the hips stay nice and firmly grounded even if you're standing. And then we're going to inhale and open up. Exhale. Feel the resistance. We've got two more, pulling back, feeling that big opening across the front and then exhale, last one here, inhale, exhale, all right, let's inhale to open back up to our warrior two, take a breath here and then we'll exhale and rotate so that the back hand reaches down the back leg, top arm reaches up. And if you're standing, you may want to straighten that front leg. It changes the stretch a little bit down the front side body here. Your choice. We've got a few breaths, trying to open the heart space up towards the sun or the ceiling. <laughs> All right, the next inhale brings us back with our core strength to warrior two for our breath and then we're going to reach 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 until we can't reach anymore and then we're going to have the elbow find the knee we're going to sweep the top arm up or alongside the ear or maybe bring it all the way down and stick it in our back pocket we want to make sure we're not collapsing down though roll that top shoulder open Ooh, i just lost my earring <laughs> finding your extended side angle we've got a long line of energy from these fingers all the way down to the toes open up through the front side body press and use core strength to rotate the heart space forward two more breaths all right let's bring ourselves all the way back up to warrior two lower the hands for the people on the floor we're just going to adjust our stance same in the chair here we're going to come to our nice wide forward fold in the chair the option of course is to use the knees as support as we hinge forward you can stay with a long back or bring the hands down to the floor or block and melt shake out the head yes and no find your earrings if they fell out <laughs> stick them back in And then let's lift the forehead. We'll bring our hands to our hips and engage through the core and hinge all the way back up. All right. Take a moment in your um, mountain pose just to recalibrate. Let's take a couple of breaths. Let's inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale and exhale all right i want to come into some lunges and twists so i'll demonstrate a few options in the chair uh, i'll just kind of go through it quickly and then you can decide which one might work best for you um, for this short little sequence so a couple of options in the chair you may want to cross the legs as if you're going into a pigeon or cross them like um, regular seated cross-legged and what we're going to be doing is eventually taking a big breath bringing our hands through heart center and twisting by hooking the elbow over the knee so there's lots of options here 
This one might feel a little deeper here. Third option in the chair is um, coming back into a, sort of a sideways stance, getting into a lunge posture. My right leg in this case being supported by the chair, left leg behind me, and then same thing as we inhale here, twisting and maybe finding a twisted lunge in the chair. So those are the chair options. And then of course we'll do it on the other side. Options for the those of us using the mat, sorry about all the banging there, is um, high or low lunge. So from the top of the mat here, let's take a big step back with our left leg. And instead of planting the toes and the heel, we're gonna keep the heel lifted. You can see how this is quite different from warrior two. I'm facing forward, I'm facing this front knee, I'm tucking the tailbone under, so I'm still stacking um, my hips and shoulders. This is our high lunge option. Option, of course, for this is to come down and the toes can uncurl here. And you may want to double up your mat if that's uh, a little hard on the knees. So I'm going to choose this lower option. I like it better. I like that I can sort of sink into a hip flexor stretch here, still tucking the tailbone, still stacking the shoulders and hips, but a little less work. And that's what I want. I really want to focus on the twist um, across the leg here. So whether you're in the chair or on the floor, high or low, let's take a big twist. We'll take a big inhale here. Reach, 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 reach on the exhale. Drop the hands through heart center. And then we're gonna twist through the core here. You may wanna stay up high. We wanna keep our thumbs glued to that sternum. We don't wanna lead with the arms. So we're gonna take a big inhale here. Twist, thumbs glued to sternum and then maybe sinking a little lower even and hooking that left elbow over right knee, pressing into the hands to find that twist. I've ended up away from you. That's okay. Can sink into the hip flexor stretch, press into those prayer hands, look over the back elbow. Let's stay for three rounds of breath. Find those deep breaths, come back to your motto, your mantra, your dedication. One more breath. All right, we've got our hands glued to our sternum. Let's lift up, untwist. If you're on the floor, let's release the hands down, send the hips back and find a hamstring stretch down the right leg. If you're in the chair, you may just need to adjust your position on the chair, send that right leg out and hinge forward to feel that hamstring stretch. And then we'll switch and go to the other side. All right, for those of us whew, on the floor here, we're in our little hamstring stretch. All right, let's come back forward again. Step back to our tabletop option for a couple of cat cows. Just to recalibrate the spine, you can do some rolling, anything that your body might need before we move to the other side. Let's find that neutral spine. I'm gonna just step my left foot forward now and I'm gonna make my way up into this lunge. We may need to adjust the um, width of our lunge here for balance. Send the hips forward, keep the pelvis pointing down, still stacking shoulders over hips. Take a big inhale here. Exhale those hands through heart center, glue them to the sternum. Sink into the hips if you're in this low lunge. Pause here before twisting, and then maybe trying to hook that right elbow over left knee, still re-gluing those hands to the sternum as we press into those prayer hands. Open the heart space up towards the front. Maybe looking back over the elbow. We've got three deep breaths here. I don't know about you, but I'm finding the balance challenging in this one. So making sure to engage through core and glutes, keep the hips square. So maybe think about pulling that left hip back, right hip forward. Two more breaths. All right, let's take an inhale, come on up. 
exhale to the front if you're in the chair swing around forward kick the left leg out in front and then hinge forward over the left leg feel that hamstring stretch One final time. Let's see if we can step back into our tabletop or coming into a nice seated posture. Couple rounds of cat cow. Press the mat away, round through the spine. And then find that neutral spine. And then let's either flow through child's pose or roll over onto one hip. We're going to do a little, I think this is called a mermaid pose. So we're going to sit on one hip. If you're in the chair, you can just stay nice and seated and find a side bend. Um, or you can cross the legs and do a side bend. We're just really opening up through the side body with a little bit of a variation in the legs here. So let's see if we can maybe stack the heels or maybe have one in front of the other. You're sort of sitting over on one hip. And you can imagine a beautiful mermaid on the beach, holding on to her ankles, maybe, and inhaling to reach the right arm up. You can stay there, or we can even bend back a little bit, just creating an openness and a stretch down the side body. Let's come back up. Great. We'll lower down. We're just going to do a little transition now. I'm just going to swing my legs around to the front. You can just come into your windshield wiper here. I'm just going to swing my legs forward and windshield wiper them to the front. And then we'll sit up and roll onto opposite hip. So now we're on the opposite hip. Whoops, I didn't go to the opposite hip. Whoopsie. <laughs> Make sure you go to that opposite hip. I'm sitting on my left hip now, reaching for my ankles. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, find that side bend. And we'll inhale, come up. All right, now I'm just gonna roll off my hips. Same thing, you can do a few windshield wipers here or come into this reverse tabletop. So planting the hands behind you, fingers facing forward or turned out slightly towards the edges of the mat, feet about hip distance, and we're gonna press into the hands and feet, squeeze the bum, lift the bum off, and inhale here for tabletop. You can flow by moving with breath, exhale, and inhale or you can stay nice and lifted keep going i'll show an option in the chair take a break when needed here is a couple of chair options now you don't need to move your chair around i'm just doing it for um, the angles in the chair we can flow through cat cow or scooch to the front of the chair depending on what type of chair you have and you can bring your hands into your chair making sure you have a nice staple chair and then same thing feet about hip distance press into the chair and the feet Lift the hips up and find your reverse tabletop here. Take one more big breath and lower down. Okay, let's counter that with a little forward fold. If you're in the chair, you can come fold over the thighs. And if you are on the floor, just roll back onto your back, draw knees into chest, and rock side to side. All right, let's make our way back to seated. If we're in a chair, I'm gonna just move the chair out of the way. I'm gonna make my way down to the floor Joining the rest of you, walking side to side. Just a couple more breaths here. And we're going to 
you can do a spinal twist. Any variation that works best for your body, go for it. Option today, since we're already curled into this little ball, is to keep the knees tightly curled in. Just let them fall over to one side as the opposite arm comes out along the floor to help keep both shoulder blades grounded. If you're in the chair, planting the feet on the ground and just finding a twist like at the beginning of class, just noticing if it feels any different. Now that we've gone through lots of big, juicy movements, you're probably feeling a bit more open. So noticing if the twist feels any different from the beginning of class. There's no right or wrong, just noticing. Take another breath in the twist. And then we'll bring our gaze back through center with the core strength. Let's bring our legs back through center as well and let them go all the way over to the opposite side and reach the opposite arm out along the floor in a cactus or straight arm so that both shoulder blades can melt into the mat. Maybe you turn your gaze away from the knees. gaze back through center. Let's bring the legs back through center as well. Option here to um, any to come into any posture your bodies might be craving. You might want to come into a gentle inversion if you're in the chair. Maybe just folding forward either with straight legs or wide legs. And if you're on the mat, reaching the legs straight up to the ceiling like I'm doing here and just letting them be heavy. This is a nice uh, posture to let the blood just kind of work with the help of gravity. Maybe you want to reach behind, grab onto the thighs, the hamstrings, the ankles or the feet and open up into happy baby. Find a bit of space for the breath to flow and find the connection of the spine all the way from the full length of the head down to the tailbone in this posture. Happy baby, you can stay in stillness, you can rock side to side. You might even want to extend one leg and then the other. So lots of options here. Choosing what's right for you for a few more rounds of breath. And if you were finding movement, maybe find stillness for one more breath. our way to our final resting posture, drawing the knees together and lowering the feet down to the mat. You may want to stay in this shape for your Shavasana, maybe walking the feet wide just so the knees can fall in and take pressure off the low back. After a lot of twists, that might be a nice option. Or of course, extending the legs along along the mat or sitting up nice and tall in your chair. Hands can come down by our side or into our laps. And again, choosing whether to turn the palms up or down, or maybe even placing them on belly and heart center. Letting the breath scan the body, seeing if it can find any places of tension. Maybe just convince those places of tension to soften for a few moments. Shavasana is the time for our physical and energetic bodies to absorb all that good work we just did and turn it into something magical. It's a time for integration and rest. And know that rest is different from sleep. 
and that we need both every day. And we should never pass up an opportunity to just rest and do nothing. Of course, the beauty of practicing through the lens is that if your body wants or needs to stay in your Shavasana for a little bit longer, by all means, press pause or let the video play out and stay exactly as you are. If you are ready to get on with your day or evening, maybe start to wake up the body by wiggling fingers and toes, circling wrists and ankles. Maybe you want to curl into a little ball or reach along along the mat one last time just before rolling over to one side and making your way to a comfortable seated position. From here, we can all settle in nice and tall, roll the shoulders a couple of times. We're going to finish with one big breath. Inhale, sweep the hands up. Exhale, we'll draw the hands down through heart center. They can rest in prayer, they can rest over the heart space or down in your lap, whatever feels comfortable for you. Thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide today and guiding you through these postures. I hope that it is exactly what you were looking for and enjoy your chance to do this all over again. Take care. Thank you, everyone. I hope that that felt like exactly like what your bodies needed today and um, I hope that you um, found the right energy and um, the right level of vulnerability and acceptance that you were looking for. Take care. See you next week.